I've been getting asked time and time again, Alpha, how do you feel about digital homicide? Soon to be digital suicide, because if shit continues the way that it is, not only with their public image, but overall, I feel that this company is going to be going belly up. And it would all be for the better of everybody, but the duo of bruise and fragile egos that runs that fucking shit show of a circus that's supposed to be a development studio and a publisher within the gaming world, they are the saddest fucking sacks of shit that I've ever seen. I'd rather take a company like Konami at their fucking worst, pachinko machines and abusing Metal Gear Solid and all. I'd rather go and take the legs of fucking LJN, literally with their worst licensed games. I'd rather combine all that shit together and I top it off with a fucking golden poo cherry that is Electronic Arts when they are at their most grimiest, evilest state of mind. I'd rather take that category of gaming bullshit and run with that than to ever go anywhere fucking near, even within the same city and state as Digital Homicide. These motherfuckers are a tragic case of somebody abusing the, the judicial system beyond understanding. They're currently embarking on a world tour suing 101 people, and this is not an exaggeration, not ha ha ha, he's just tossing out number, no. They're going after Jim Sterling, you know, a critic, a fucking video game reviewer, for negatively reviewing their games that are shit. Well, they're shit. Did you want him to tell everybody, hey, these are fantastic, and they all respond with, but they're not. Well, I didn't want to get sued. Well, guess what? 100 people out there had said that they were fucking garbage, had called this company out on all of the underhanded, backdoor dealing crap that they were doing, and somewhere out there in an attorney's office is Digital Homicide Poop Games. This shit is on paper and black and white print somewhere out there the idea that that exists i think is fucking hilarious but it's also embarrassing and depressing because the only thing that they want to do to all of these individuals who are wrapped up in this bullshit they want to take them to court and they want to bleed them fucking dry they don't want to deal with any of the honest goodness per, uh, court proceedings no they want to drag this out as much as humanly possible just to go and hit them where it hurts and that's in their wallet they know for a fucking fact that they don't have a case i mean you have to consider that they have over 50 games under their belt and i use that term fucking loosely hot dog down a goddamn motherfucking hallway loosely these games, air quotes, please apply more air quotes wherever possible. These games, they bundle up all the time together for insanely low amounts. Now you'd wonder why would you bundle up that many games, let alone be making games weekly. Yes, weekly. These, these games are put out weekly and they don't exactly have a shitload of people working for them. No, 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 no. These are just copy and pasted, dumb bullshit, fly by night type of games that you would see in the mobile market that get shit out onto a conveyor belt and are just being churned into everybody's fucking iOS market and Android market and wherever the fuck else. That's the type of stuff that they're making. I mean, the Slaughtering Grounds was about the only game from them that I was even remotely interested in, and that was because it looked so fucking horrible, so wretched, so clunky, so glitchy, so, so off. I mean, in every single way, you would look at this and you would think to yourself, you know, Bubsy 3D is really not that bad of a game. Like, I mean, I, I see the Slaughtering Grounds and I wonder to myself, how could I think that Bubsy 3D was actually a bad game? I mean, the developers behind that did go on to make Siphon Filter games and Uncharted Golden Abyss, so they can't be that bad, right? I mean, it can't be that bad. No, the Slaughtering Grounds is somehow, like, it's an inconceivable evil incarnation of just, what, what, what the fuck, man? Like, this shouldn't exist. I feel that this is the thing that's answering whenever you're fucking around on a Ouija board. And I don't know how, it's just happening though. But these motherfuckers are taking all these people to court because of things like slander and you're making our company look bad so we're losing out on money. But you're bundling all these games together and there's a whole bunch of cards with these so they put them onto the Steam Marketplace and guess what? All people are doing is getting these because it costs next to nothing and they can go and flip all this shit and make their money back. So. Most people are just buying your shit, which your games are just a front for this much smaller scheme. 
And I, I see this and I just fucking laugh. And guess what? Your games got yanked off of Steam because they had Valve had seen this and was like, wow, you're harassing the living shit out of our users. And I'm kind of curious if whether or not they're going to get pulled into all these court proceedings. And I don't think they'd be stupid enough to just considering that they wouldn't be able to bleed a company like Valve dry. And they obviously have attorneys out the fucking wazoo that would be able to deal with this shit. Lickety split, just like that. Personally... Honest to goodness, I feel that they should still continue to step in because you're trying to tell, you're trying to dictate what people are saying about your games. And that's a problem. On their own fucking website, right at the top, trust me, you won't have to scroll much, you'll see Seeking Legal Representation. And it's this big fucking blurb. And you're, you'll, you'll read it and you'll just, you'll cringe at the idea that they have the audacity to even put shit out there like this. And I can say at least one thing. Jim Sterling talked about you, which is the only reason that you even have notoriety, let alone some kind of namesake within the public eye. Otherwise, you wouldn't fucking exist to anybody out there. And now your games aren't on Steam, and you're throwing a fucking bitch fit over that? I mean, they're suing 100 people for 18 million, suing Jim for 15 million, and they think that they are actually worth this. That... Their entire catalog of games is worth that, or even a million, or half a million. You were a fucking joke. You were a floundering company that can't get by off of making entertaining titles, and you were shitting them out at a rapid rate of a week at a time. Four games a fucking month? This shit is fucking laughable. I went onto your Facebook page, and I got to see nothing but people just tearing into you. Are you going to be hitting them up and suing them? Are you going to see a video like this and trying to sue me? Here, uh, l let me just go and cut to the end of this so that there's no filler in the middle. I have no fucking money, assholes. So you want to get shit out of me. And if anything, I'm not making you look bad. Your own actions and the shit that you put out there into the world, that's what makes you look bad. All I'm doing is... Well, I, I'm just being the opinionated motherfucker that I typically am and usually am, and that's talking about this kind of stuff because I just, I always think that, oh man, I, I already reached a mountaintop of stupidity within things, and then a company like you comes along and you just shake shit up, and I'm just like, well, th there you go. I mean, there's always going to be somebody that's a lot dumber that comes in and just makes you question, why the fuck am I on this planet and why the fuck can't I just get off of it? I mean, you literally make the worst of the worst companies out there that I've ranted about, many individuals who are watching this have ranted about, and anybody out there that has been angry with, because deep down, they're good companies just doing stupid things. You're a shit company doing shittier things. So I guess we don't have any expectations of you, we just get to see this. I mean, going after individuals because they made a fucking group that was based solely around calling out shitty ass things that you're doing and other companies out there doing i mean holy fuck man it, it's kind of impressive whenever you think about you know i thought depression quest was the apex of how bad things could get on steam no your company somehow got worse i'm just glad that uh, that valve they, they took the axe to you and they got rid of you so they're no longer doing business with you, but now you're you're really considering, publicly considering, going after them because, well, we're going to be losing out on money. Yeah, no shit. You want to know why? Because all of your fucking games only had value because people were able to get the cards and get something from the fucking marketplace for them. That's literally all your games were worth. And that's why you keep putting them out in fucking multitudes of games. Is because, oh, well, I mean, look, you're getting like 50-something games for $3, of course. And you have sales all the time, and you keep these sales high as shit for a reason. All your games are, like, under a dollar, damn near. And all of those people are able to get refunds, and I bet that burns your ass even more. But you don't care because it's all about the cards, and that's the only reason that people want this shit. So... You are losing out on money because you fucking suck as a developer, you suck as a fucking publisher, and everybody's seen through your bullshit. And let's not even get into the whole thing of all the fucking assets that you've taken and stolen and that you've used. Because trust me, there's a lot of them. I mean, I've seen some of them firsthand, I've seen the fucking thumbnails, I've seen the gameplay, I've seen the actual... Like, I I've seen this shit with my own eyes. Like, the engines and shit that you've been using, it just... There's no end to it. And you're transparent as fuck. 
Did you think nobody was going to catch on to this? I hope that you have a lot of money put away in your piggy bank, because going after 101 people is not going to be good for you, short or long term. Trust me on that. Oh, and by the way, if I do end up getting sued by you, I hope that any attorneys out there who might stumble across my video, please, by all means, hook a motherfucker up and help me out. The, and and that, that's how I would go encounter this shit. I'd be like, well, I'll get somebody with common sense. Because, man, that's not your forte, is it? Not at all. Fragile egos all over the place. In the description, there are a shitload of links. I mean, this rabbit hole goes very deep because there's so much about it. I mean, this shit's been going on for the past, I don't even know how many months, but just recently they decided that they were going to go after a Steam user, so shit got actually yanked off of Steam because of Valve. So, it's just another layer to this story, and this is the only imprint that you're going to leave with everybody, is how fucking horrible you were. Bravo. You've done nothing but give people a couple of fucking laws. And if anything, I, I guess that, that that has some kind of value to it, right? Right. Anyway, this is Alpha Mega Sin, as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers game the fuck on.